and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Or as I like to call it, Carlin Brothers Box Breakers times Carlin Brothers Box Breakers times Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. Oh wow, that is actually a much better version of it. I don't it's know better. why I didn't consider that. Yeah. Okay, okay, from, from henceforth. Uh, in other news, this uh, today's episode is going to be opening Season 3, Group 3, which is Pack 2. Pack 2. <laughs> so many different qualifiers in order to get started. Let's just dive on in. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now for the Wheel of Energy! Oh yeah, man, I'm hoping for some eyeball energy. There's been so many psychic cards in this set. If you're if you're in today's episode and we get eyeball, you're in good shape. Yeah. Here we go! Strong spin, strong spin, strong spin. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, and it's just teardrop energy, but that's not bad, that's not bad. It could be worse. It could be electric again. It could be electric not. again, but it's not. And now it's time to reveal today's common chase cards, which we have randomly chosen off screen before the episode. Today, they will be Matang, Emolga, and Baneri. Ooh, I'm glad you said Baneri first because yeah. I was like, Bunnery? It's like bunny with long ears. So ear, ear bun eerie, eerie bunny. Kind of looks like a bunny that has eclairs four ears. Yeah, sure, I can see it. Dude, you want to know what would be amazing? Yeah. A Pokemon-themed bakery. A Pokemon, I mean, there are there are many bakeries inside the world of Pokemon. Well. And there are baked good-themed Pokemon. <laughs> th th we're, we're well on track. Anyway, let's go ahead and crack today's episode before Wait, Jay... Wait, we have to do your favorite part, which is switching the skateboards. Hey, but at least it's Vaporeon. Vaporeon for like, teardrops. I like that one. I like that one. I guess for blue, we could also do Glaceon back there. But I mean, Vaporeon, I mean, already the best Eevee Lucian, so. Classic. Classic. Okay, I have to tell you, let's go Eevee. The fact that you can't evolve the Eevee. Oh, it is so dumb. Why? Like, whose decision was that? Yeah, after years of Ben not playing Pokemon games, he finally downloaded a, a modern one, chose Let's Go Eevee. Can't evolve, can't evolve it. What's even the point? Or battle the wild Pokemon. Anyway, let's <coughs> open some cards, because that's what we're here for, and I'm excited for let's it. Let's do it. Contestant number one today is Anthony. This is going to be his first pack. And actually, we've made a, a, a minor mistake. In round one, we forgot his packs. So we're actually going to open another pack for Anthony in next week's episode. But anyway, we're kicking off today's... Uh, with his, uh, with, his, with his first pack ever. With, with, with his first pack ever. So this is a rookie pack, man. Rook, I, but you know what? It feels like we owe Anthony some extra good luck. So maybe we can just like channel it in. Are you, are you feel a teardrop? No. Oh, just a common salad energy. Salad energy. Let's see. Do we have any luck in here? The Snorunt scores. Sandow, the Merker, the Radiant Serena, and the Incineroar. So that looks like a three-point pack to a me. A three-point pack. Not bad, not bad not for bad, a rookie Anthony. pack. There you go. And there a Radiant go. card. Gotta love it. I know Serena is one of your all-time faves. Absolutely, right? Everyone loves Serena. There we go. I, I do also continue to love this Incineroar, who is incidentally uh, the character that I use in Smash Brothers the most. Oh, it is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, now you yeah. actually you should play. Maybe you should play Sun and Moon so you can play through with an Incineroar. That would be cool. That yeah. would be cool. Litten, awesome Pokemon. Next up is Bryliv. 
Oh dear, I picked up two packks. Oh man, Ben, you almost, or, almost threw out the know, randomness right now. Throwing off the randomness to make it even more randomizered. The question is, will this be a salad energy or will be this be the one that starts the duplicates? It, it'll be very curious to see. Yeah. We're about to find out. We'll take the code card off. We'll go one, two, three, four to the front. And with the flip, Boom, we oh, have the there salad we go. energy. All so right. now we know how this pack works. Now we know. We, we're, we're all coming to better understand the inner workings of the Pokemon trading card factor. Factories, yeah. By way of uh, unboxing some of the cards. So there's our Venomoth, the Wallace, Meow Stick, Beldum, Vulpix, oh, Stunfist. Oh, the Snorrent. The Snorrent. Oh, that'll score one. The Fletchling. Yep. Fletching? Fletchling. Yeah, I Fletchling. Got it. That's uh, scores because it's a Ma rare. There you go. Miss Majus will score. And I think I see something. Uh, uh, oh, oh, right out of the gate. The Leafy Camo Poncho. Dude, very, that is a very cool gold card. That is a really cool. It's, it's like an yeah. extra gold because the graphic itself is kind of gold. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, man. Haven't, I haven't even seen that card. So let's see. What is that one? What are, We have at least a three-point pack. But you got to think a gold card's worth more than one point. It's got to be. Got got I feel be. like every time we're ever at the card store, it's like if they've got gold trainers, it's like we'll, 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 we're yeah. into those. Those yeah, seem great. Take them. All right. So number 214 on the set. Let's see what that does for us. $2.93 rounds up to three points. So five points on the pack. Five total. points on the pack for Bryliv. Gonna bring them up to 12 on the season. And they get that awesome gold leafy camo poncho. Yes, that'll be a very fun card to get in the mail. Headed yeah. your way. The question is which one uh Brian or Olivia will be getting to uh you know sport that one. It's you know, true. Around. It's true. Who gets to put it in their binder? Exactly. Who gets to brag about it? Next up, we have Tyler Gillies. Gillies! Here we go. Will Tyler be the first one to hit the teardrop energy on the day? I don't know. But I do, my favorite part about this sort of like odd little piece of continuity <laughs> is that oh, nope. when it shows up, we know it'll show up again. So that'll score a yeah, point. Yeah, that's yep. a point right there. The Behem. Emolga scores. Durant, Ralts, Toxicroak, nothing there. And, ooh, the Articuno actually scores twice because it's also a uh, teardrop Pokemon there. There you go. So two points, three points, four points on the pack for Gillies. Yeah, nice little ho hollow Articuno. Yeah, I think I said this in last week's episode as well, but there's something about, like, the OG hollows that, like, when yeah. I see it, it's, it, like, reminds me of the original Articuno card. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, <gasps> cool. Yeah, it's the next set that's coming out, or the Scarlet Violet base set has like kind of a return to form. Like you won't have the big full art Vs like we've been having. It'll just sort of look like the original hollows, but like on steroids, like really busting through that top box. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. I feel like what they're doing is almost trying to like dial our expectations back so that it, we can once again be excited as they like bring yeah. them back out. Well, it feels like uh, people have been complaining about the power creep in Pokemon for a while. So it feels like they're like, just rein it in. Just rein it in. Rein it, it in. in. Kind of like reset, reset everybody. a little. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we got a little too powerful here. We're gonna have a little bit of weird overlap as we scale back, but that's, oh, it's up to you now. It's yeah, yeah. yeah, we're up to, to Brant. Brant, uh, who had two points in their first pack of season three. Indeed. So looking to either uh, score big here or score none. You never know what strategy anybody's going for. And we're kind of open to all strategies here at, at uh, Carlin Brothers, Brothers Brock Brothers Bakers, Bakers times Carlin Brothers Bakers on Carlin Brothers Brock Bakers. It's a mouthful. All right, to the front with the flip, and there is, of course, the the lightning bolt energy, mm -hmm. the regenerative energy, uh, duosion. Duosion, yeah. There we go. The V guard Lots of energy, energy in Lots here. The Ralts. The you see why we wanted the eyeball energy, though? I know, I know. The Fungus. Yeah, it up there. Neuvern, Neuvern that will does score. score. Yep, and there you go. And uh, the Fion scores two. Okay, there you go. Absolutely. So a three point pack. Not too bad. Three playing the odds, or playing the with the rules a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. But Good only five to... on the season so far. There you go. Kind of sitting uh, just very middle of the pack there. All right, next up is Big Jake. Big Jake! Coming in with three points on the season uh, himself. Uh, Big Jake is a photographer and does AV work for his church. Nice! Yeah. Very exciting, Big Jake. Yeah, I feel like that's more of a job than people realize these days because it's like, Churches have like quite the productions going on sometimes. <laughs> right. It's, a, it's like it's a, whoa. Bit, a bit more going on. It's like the light eye. shows and music and big screens and whatever. Let's see. Oh, the oh, rock is pummeling, pummeling energy. So, you know, that's how Big Jake rolls, I guess. Primordial Altar, the Venonat, the Dupider scores, the Phoebus scores. Oh, I got a little out of order there. The Braviary scores and the Clink Clank scores. So, yeah, so 
Looks uh, like a four point pack. Not bad, not overall. bad. Overall. I feel like the, the teardrop energy is doing some work for us already. It and, is. And, it's and like, we haven't even had an energy pulled yet. Yeah, it's given our randomly chosen week three crowd here a bunch of like extra tiny points. Just here. a little bit of like like a little bit of creep forward. You right. never know what you're gonna get. I mean, it's a game upon like randomness on top of randomness on top of randomness. I know. So. We have, yeah, what what which week are you gonna be in? What's your multiplier gonna be? The only thing we know is that the energy in the next pack will be raucous pummeling. That's all we really know uh so let's see if dockery this is the dockery's first pack ever oh dockery is one of this is they did the same as you for halloween they gave out pokemon cards to trick-or-treaters oh my gosh which is one of the best ideas pokemon's ever had yes so there are three yeah. card packs uh i don't think that there are any rares that can be found no. in them, but you could buy them like you know at like our our kroger is where we bought them yeah uh and i will tell you what i heard outside of my house kids on the street literally being like that house gives out Pokemon cards. Yeah. And they were so, oh my gosh. Uh oh, whoa, we, we were we wrong knew. about the raucous pummeling. That's a minus one. Wow. That's a minus one Dockery to start. might be the first rookie ever to come in at zero points. Wow. Man, or man. not, who's to say? We're about to find out. We that are about. they could. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, we got the Meow Stick, the Gym Trainer, the Curlia, so much, so the much Litten, eyeball. the Rufflet, the Fennekin, the Durant Durant. Oh, the Amolga scores. The Amolga will score a point, okay. so then it, now we're back at one. At one. Uh, the Morpeko will not score, but the, the Dragapult, Dragapult will with a single point. So coming out of the gate, really just swinging hard. No, wait, the V-Star brought them to negative one. Negative right? one. So they they get one point total. One point. What did I say? I, I, yeah, two. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I said one. Sorry. I thought I said one. Eventually, we're gonna get the points wrong. I'm sure it's already happened at least once. Uh, yeah. Apologies in advance. We're doing our best, you know? Yeah. So it's what everybody's doing. Their exactly. best. Exactly. Doing their best. Next up is Peabody Coco coming into the game today with two points on the season. Kind of a fun fact about uh, Peabody is there's an award in writing uh, called the Peabody Award, yes. and our dad has actually won it before. Yes, he has. For uh, for news coverage, oh, oh. fire energy, Crocker Rock. Let's see how are we gonna do here. Vulpix, Drowsy, no points at all on the board. The Whalmer scores, bam. Professor Lavington does not. The Amoongus does. There you go. That's going to be a two-point pack, so nothing too exciting happening that time around. You know, I really almost want them to remake the video game Among Us as Among Us. Just Among Us. And it's literally just all the exact, it's the exact, the exact same, same premise game, entirely, yeah. just they're all this character. Right. It feels like something they would do, like just gave a character skin, like the Among Us package. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's a that's a uh, crossover Pokemon should be pursuing. Pokemon, you can steal that idea from us at any time, and we're open to it. You're welcome. Next up, Ben, another rookie on the day, Sydney Steel. Sydney. Something tells me Sydney's here to play. You think so? I don't know if it's like the name matching a location of a former Olympics uh, that, that that makes me feel this way. Could it be. could be. It could be that Steel is even like a Pokemon type. It's, I just it's, feel like they got a lot of things working for there's them. There's a lot of things working for them. There's alliteration. Hmm. Yep, yep, let's yep. see, though. Right, We've had see. a few, uh, you know... We'll see how the rookies do. Bam, 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 and the oh, oh, the there's rock is the rock is we knew it was coming. Yeah, there you go. The Braxton, the Low Punny, the Serena. Oh, Serena's Ooh, been a good omen for good us. Omen. Uh, Spinarak, the Drowsy. Oh, oh the Veneri scores. That's score. our first one of the day. Yep. Uh, no Dawn score for the Dawn fan. No and, and the, the Noivern. Wow. I think it's our second one of the day. So I, I think two, it is. Just a two point pack. I, two I, point I pack. miscalled it entirely. I'm not the guys in the back. I can't. I can't pull off what can't. they do. Yep. Sorry about that, you guys. Was it a two-point pack or is it just one? The. Oh wait. It's just one. It's just right? one. It's just Man, the I am just. I am just determined to get this wrong. Ben is trying to give out free points over here, and I'm not staying for it. Okay. We play by the rules here. Next up, B Grim. Sometimes this almost seems like a suggestion, you know? Like, like, like hey, B Grim. B Grim. And hey, B Grim. B Grim. Yeah. But like in a happy way. I feel like sure. that's like what Wednesday was like. Yeah. In the TV show Wednesday. It's like be grim, not like not mean. Just like just, just grim. grim right? Yeah, like, like celebrate it. She has friends. Obviously. Yeah. You know? Grim can be fun. Grim can be fun. Did you what? see her dance? It was awesome. <laughs> you haven't seen the show Wednesday on Netflix? Oh, check it out. Boom! Eyeball, eyeball energy. How appropriate for no. B. Grim. I know. Pulling I off know. the eyeball there. Not going to get you any points just yet. Well, I think I see something poking out of the back there, Ben. So okay. this is going to be kind okay. of a fun okay. pack. We're excited. The Litten, the Pharisee. Otherwise, nothing else to write home about. But uh, the Alolan oh, yeah, Vulpix V. It looks like a... 
kind of a, a bulk V Pokemon. We'll double check it for you. It is worth a dollar thirteen. So there That's is an be, extra point hidden inside two. of that. Plus yep. it's teardrop, so it's actually three. Hey, there we go. There so we there go. you go. Turning almost nothing into three. This Dragonair keeps getting me because again, if you go back to the early base sets of the Pokemon, uh, like TZG, yeah, there was a Star Dragonair. You're right, there was. And I feel like it, it, it always sort of surprised me because it's like a second evolution yeah. star. And it was like a, a non-hollow one. So it was yes. like one where you got the pack and you were like, oh, well, this wasn't really that exciting. Yeah. yeah. That's where if you're like ever going back and trying to buy one of those early base sets, they sell them like with the associated, like how much does it weigh? Because the additional right. grams is what is accounted for with that holographic foil. Yeah. Next up, Ben, Laser. Officially my new favorite player in the game. Certainly going to be a crowd favorite. Another rookie, though. So, Ben, this is a rookie field today on week three. I am super excited about this. Uh, as as the game continues, as more people sign up for the show, which is very exciting, we appreciate your support over on Patreon, it does get us ever closer to a world where we can have the additional team version of the game. Yes. Uh, we're looking for a grand <coughs> total of 144 participants, which will all unlock a new version of the game yes. and a new competition that will be taking place amongst the different types uh, of players that we have. So yes. that's water, electric, fire, and grass. Right. Wow. So when Jeez. you're signing up, take that into consideration. Yeah, who do you want to be fighting alongside? Exactly. All right, we got a little little fireball energy there. There we go. The Braxian, the Siglyph. Golbat, the Clink. Well, how much scores? Oh, yep, yep. I'm sorry. I would have passed it entirely. Right there. Phoebus the scores. scores. That's two on the board already. Oh, oh, got the trainer gallery Gardevoir. And I think there's the even Lundus. something uh -oh. else peeking out back there. What? There is. Oh, the full art Omastar. How about that? Man, Man, a man four what a card scoring pack. So minimum four points, but definitely going to end up being more. Actually, this one also gets the uh, type advantage. Back. It does. Yes, indeed. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Here. So minimum so, five. So the trainer gallery number five is going to be worth $1.22 for the Gardevoir. So that'll get you two points for the Gardevoir. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, and then the um, Omastar is going to be number 174 on the set, which is worth $2.78. We'll round up to three points plus an additional point for the teardrop energy. Right, so that's seven, eight points on the pack. Amazing! Oh, man, that's our best pack today! Amazing. That's Amazing. crazy. Wow, well Blazer coming out of the out of the gates with, a, sorry to say, blasters firing, ha, as like it a, were. Like a laser. Like a laser. I love it. There Man. you go. All right, well done. Oh, I forgot to mention that Laser's favorite Disney movie is Hercules, and their favorite Pokemon is Lucario. So we should have known they were a brawler. I must have expected to see the raucous pummeling in there. But nothing, nothing doing so far. All right, next up we have CK Hoof Talk. <laughs> CK Hoof Talk. CK Hoof Talk. Which I can Hoof only Talk. imagine is a podcast about horses. I was thinking cows, honestly. Okay. Maybe it's just about all hooved animals. All hooved animals. And today we're talking cows. Next week, come back for moose. Oh, right? nice, nice. Give me anything. One maybe of my favorite hooved a, animals. Maybe they'll have a, oh, man, but I tell you, for a, yet another rookie on the day, this is their first pack ever. They're starting out V-Star. Wow. Just wow. like That's that. That's a minus one point That's right out of the gate. Right there. So let's see how the rest of it's going to go. Did I do this backwards? Did yeah, you do I don't think so. Okay. Toxic okay. back. Lance, Clang, Sandy gets the Relicant scores, Halucha, Rufflet, Pharisee, and the Del Fox. So we're coming in at a solid one point there a solid for a point. hoof talk. I, you know, it's felt like this has been, it hasn't been a season for rookies. We're still we're still waiting well, for that. I bet Laser had eight. Laser had eight. Yeah. We can't forget Laser. Yeah. Maybe we should have a Rookie of the Year award. Maybe we should have a What Would Laser Do? What Would Laser Do? WWLD. <laughs> What would laser, what would laser do? do? What what would you do if you had a laser in this situation? Uh oh! It's not a laser. It's, it's not a little light bulb that blinks. Yeah. I'll set my laser from stun to kill. Wow. Been a real Toy Story move. Ben, we have another uh, big crowd favorite though, a returning player. It's Cartavian. Cartavian. It sounds like card is right in the name, even oh, though no. it's actually C A K A R T. It's still there. It's still there. Yeah. All right. Well, Cartavian uh, is from Kentucky, but lives in Colorado. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what their fun fact is. Here we so, go, man. All right. We still have yet to see a teardrop energy on the day. It's got to be coming soon. It's my favorite part about having the type advantage is the fact that we get excited about energies. Yeah, right? So, here we go. Oh, eyeball. If only. The if beloved. All it's gonna, I feel like it's going to happen this season. I know it does. Yep. And there's right. the Golbat. Or Sode. Someone. The Dreepy. The Vulpix. 
Oh, the Mulligan scores. The Mulligan does score. Mulligan scores. Mulligan will score. And, and the Armando oh, no. scores. So three point pack all around. None too shabs there. None too shabs. There we are. Good Cards way. headed your way. Cards headed to you, Cartavian. Next up is Alfion. Coming into the season with three points on the day. So looking for a big score here. I know, you know? I know. Yeah, I feel like we, we, we've we kind of been flirting all day, it seems, mostly with the uh, the category of players for potentially that last place award. Potentially last place, maybe, potentially like a Big Steve. Maybe you know? some Big Steve. Where is Big Steve right now? He's got eight points on the season. So right. we, the Laser did put themselves in great contention for they that did. Big Steve award. There's that regular Leafy Camo Poncho. Saw the gold one earlier, but this is a real metal heavy pack. Smeargle, Braxian, and the Reuniclist. So nothing doing too much on that pack. Just a single point on the day for Offion. But you got a nice Reuniclist coming your way. Look, it's so shiny. It's so, it's so shiny and sparkly. So shiny. Ben, you got Chris Ray. Chris Ray. Here we go. But I feel like we're due for like a like a big one. I know, yeah. but you know what? Like laser did well. Ray is similar to a laser. Oh yeah, like a laser ray. Technically spelled differently, but we're ignoring that completely. Sure, so, sure. you know, there there could be there could be some more directional energy happening here. Let's see bam, with that bam, energy. Bam, the bam, flip. Oh, and there's another metal. We should yeah, have seen that one coming. We should have. Yep. Yeah, because the can the canned ice. Yep. Halucha. Halucha. Oh, the Halucha is fitting because they are a huge wrestling fan. Okay. Okay. So they came to play a little bit. The Durant, Durant. and oh, the unknown V. Boy, you get it. To, it does feel like a little bit like bulk V. It does feel a little it bulk is V. Full art. Let's take a look though, just to be doubly sure. Number sixty-five on the set. We'll see. Scrolling, scrolling. Number six, seventy-three oh, cents. No. So it is just Still worth just a, a single, single point. point, even with a full art card. That is unfortunate, Chris Ray. You take a good shot at it, but. Only landed at a single point on the day. It's going to bring you to five on the season, but you get this awesome unknown card coming your way. Go bam! Next up is Matt Cox. This is going. They're coming in pretty solid, Ben. They are at uh, eight points already. So like they're they they came out. Current, you know, lasers yeah. last them. Yes. Yeah, so currently tied with the Big Steve Award. We we also have the Quality Eighth Place Award. Again, all of these, including the last place, Quality Eighth Place, and the Big Steve Award, win you at the end of a season an Elite Trainer Box, where the first place finisher will of course get a full booster box. Uh, however, right now the difference between the Big Steve Award, which is at eight points, and the Quality Eighth Place point, which is uh, position is going to be at 10 points. Well, it's possible quality eighth place. If, if like Big Steve lands at ninth, you could potentially win both. Oh, right? that's know? a good point. That'd that's be a crazy. good point. I know. You'd love to see it. Yeah, you'd, you'd love absolutely to love to see it. You could also, if Big Steve came in second, you could get Big Steve and first place. Which would also be also amazing. Be, that'd be a really great game. That's about as good as you could do in this game. I know that our good buddy Big <laughs> Steve would also be so excited. Yeah, well, of course, then he would have pulled at least good enough cards to be in second. Let's see how Matt Cox is going to do. Boom! <sighs> there it is. Drop. It means so it's probably everything. coming from our next one, too. So this whole pack is worth double now, as a reminder, for the type advantage. Can... Oh, oh Matang! The, the first Matang yeah. of the day. Wow, that scores the Krogon, Solosis, Zubat, no. Whoa, oh, here's something there, ready? Bam, oh. Ooh, the full art, Trainer Gallery, Smeargle, and Azera Aura. So, let's see if that Smeargle can pull any additional points your way. Otherwise, we're looking at about a six-point pack, and less Smeargle's worth a little bit more. TG10 uh, is going to be worth a dollar seven, so Pesos. good rounding position gets yeah. you up to an additional two points and, and good then, multiplier, right? Because it ends up getting you eight points on the pack. There we go. So that's actually two packs in a row. Matt has scored eight points, which is very consistent and very solid. That's going to put you like at what seventh place overall seventh place, right now on yes. the board. So, uh, so you're really right in a very good spot for the quality eighth place. Absolutely, you know, you good, good positioning all the way around. Solid chance at least one more person scores higher than you the rest of the, you know, the rest of the game. Next up is Hannah. Hannah. Oh, Hannah. That's all from Toy Story. Hannah plays Legends of Arceus with her three-year-old daughter. She goes at her Pichu game. Oh, adorable. Adorable. 
Whenever I try and play Pokemon with my uh, kids, he just wants me to put the character on the bike and then let him drive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go fast. Classic. Yeah, just like, I just want to drive around. Okay. 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 Well, Whatever. naturally, you should you should put something in the, uh, what you call it, the daycare center so that yeah. you start earning some steps with all Absolutely. that bike pedals. Yeah. Okay, we do have the teardrop energy, so everything Damn. in the pack will be worth double. Congratulations. Yeah, Hannah must have been excited to be, know that uh, she was next. Boom. Boom. Araquanid. Two points right there. Easy. Two points right there. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we've got. How okay. will it shake out? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. The low pony uh, doesn't score. And oh, the crocodile. Man, so that's going to be what? A four point pack in a, total? A four point pack in total. So not right. bad, kind of given the world big. where all you got was that standard hollow. Um, but either way, you're on the board in good position. Still one pack left this season. Yeah, always fun to get the type advantage, even if you don't necessarily have a great pack. Next up is Doe. Doe! Doe, who is a, uh, you know, a crowd favorite on the old hoof talk. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh yeah, I got you, I yeah. got you. Yeah. <laughs> Because those have hopes. Because those have hopes, yeah. exactly. That was, a, that, was a, that was a good throwback. Thank you, thank you. I'll do what I can. All right, let's see how Doe can do. She's coming into the season with two points. Bam! Got the darkness energy there, so no points off that. We didn't expect it. That would have been pretty wild. But you never know. Fletching, Dratini, the Mata oh, the points on the Matang, and the Gardevoir. So, sadly, just a two-point pack there for Doe. A repeat performance as she came in with two. So, four on the season. Uh, but it's okay, you know why? Because Zoe doesn't know anything about Pokemon. There you go. But, but, it says. but, 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 there's still one pack left. And really, uh, to start the season, our per our person who is currently in first pretty much got there with one pack. With one pack. And so all it takes is one card. At any point in time, it can happen. The tide can turn. It can happen to you, Enselman, our next contestant. Actually, Enselman came in with 10 points on the season, so they're looking pretty good. They're standing in 12th right now. They're in a very solid spot for the quality 8th place, or potentially like a very big jump into 1st, I suppose. It'd be so weird at this point if 1st place came down to like 12 or 10 points, but you never know. If this is the Alt Art Lugia, then, you know, you're right there. All bets are you're off. You're probably winning. You're probably winning. All right, let's see. The unidentified fossil. The scores. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yep, good save, good save. The Solosis. The Fungus, the Sandy Gas. Relicant the scores. scores. There's yeah. that Leafy Camo Pop. So we've seen every iteration of this <coughs> yeah, card today. Yeah, we've seen gold, regular, and reverse. And, Boom. and the Frost Last score is double, go. right? Because it's the rare plus the yes. bonus. Yep. So that's a four point a four pack. four point pack, absolutely. Total brings uh, Enselman up to 14 points, which is going to be good enough for. Actually, this is exactly who was it? Um, what Matt. Cox wanted, right? I think they are. Oh, now, yes, to, to be in eighth place. To be in right? eighth place, right? No, no, they're at 14. No, no, no. I'm sorry. We need like a, we need a more than 16 points. Oh, so we're not quite there. Not, quite, not quite there, there. yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Man. Okay. Well, you know, there's still plenty of people to go, including our next rookie on the day. So many. So many. So many. Rookies. But you know, you know what? It's so exciting because it means we're continuing to to build up towards that, that group of 144. So I'd like to see. This is Heather Lynn. Let's see how she does. How's she gonna come out? Can she beat the laser pack of eight points? I know, it's been really our, our rookie of the day. Rookie so of far, the day, sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they picked up so many crowd, you know, um, audience points right away. You can just hear the crowd cheering. Cheering. <laughs> Salad energy. Are we? Is it like on a rotation? Are we back to the front now on the energies? It's possible that we are. It's yeah. possible that we are. Let's see, there we go. The Fair Thorn, Trimeco, the Phoebus scores, Fennekin, Fletchinger. Oh! oh! There we go. The Rainbow Unknown V-Star. Wow. Amazing. Heather, Heather Lynn was like, hold my beer. Let me go ahead and show Laser how to rookie. Let's see. Let's see how it does. Let's see how it does. She does have the one extra point coming from the Phoebus. Yep. Hang on, Let's see. Hang on how is the Rainbow Unknown V-Star going? Oh my gosh. And it's like, it's, wow. so, it's so tight too. $8.67 will round up to nine plus the an additional Phoebus point with the Phoebus. Is a 10, ten point, pack. point pack. Wow. Heather rookie says, of the day. Take that, Laser. Take that. A new rivalry is born. You'll love to see it. This is what the whole game is about, you know? Friendly, fierce, aggressive competition. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Don't it's all your supposed punches. to be fun and highly competitive. Exactly, right? That's what makes all sports good. Yeah. Next up is Josh. 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 All right. Oh, this is Josh, Josh who is uh, work security at the mall on third shift, so they're like working like the the late shift here. So I like to think, yes. So it's 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 dark. It's quiet. All things are are 
easygoing at the right. moment, and Josh is watching the episode, uh, you know, on on the phone as per always. As per always. And we're just expecting like a, a nice loud cheer to sort of yeah, disrupt like, the quiet whoop! of the evening. Right. Can we get back to back? Huge pulls. Could it be? Could it be? So there's our garden. Yeah. No, garden. Wow. Salad. Then. Salad. Salad wow. energy. Wow. I don't even know my Jeez. own new names for things. Let's see the how we can do that. The lantern, the fennekin, mm -hmm. the murkrow, the beldum, the ball toy, the fampy, the wool whale. Oh, that scores. That does score because, yep, the teardrop <coughs> energy. Water, bam, and, and the, the Miss Magus. Mm. So Boy, just at two points. So the silence continues. It's right, kind of sad when you, you can give out a holler either either way. Yeah. And if anybody does happen to hear you, they'll probably be like, I bet he's watching Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. Yeah. Most likely. Probably. That's probably what you're doing, right? Absolutely. All right. Next up, we so we are at the point where we've had a rainbow and a gold. I know. You know so can we pull the trifecta? Can someone get an alt art? Going up it in here. It feels like it can happen. It does it feel like, like it could happen. I, yeah, and like, maybe it will happen to Stacy. Stacy! Our next contestant. Stacy's due for some good luck. Only two points on that first pack. So, you know, great, great opportunity. Just surge ahead into that big Steve positioning or potentially even quality eighth place or just first place overall. Right. You know? This is a fun fact on a bad day. The Benjamin and Jonathan always make me feel better. That's us. Oh, there we go. Okay, so no. Uh, Type multiplier, but three energy cards in this pack. That's Whale the second time that's happened today. I feel like I we've seen this pack. The Emolga scores. The wall. Uh oh. Oh, the full art lance. That is awesome. Oh, and the Emolga scores. You're right. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, no, I almost yeah, missed that. The full art lance is awesome. That is epic. Super cool. Super Love to cool. See it. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. I haven't seen this card in person ever. So. Seven dollars forty-seven cents, so that'll round up to eight, eight nine, ten points ten on points. the pack for Stacy. Congratulations, man! So not the uh, not the alt art, but a full art trainer, which is always epic. That's always a good way to flex on your opponent. And be like, yeah, I have all the full art trainers. <laughs> so. No big deal. No, no big, big deal. deal. What, are playing, what are you playing? Commons. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, wow. Lance is the dragon trainer. Lance is like the dragon trainer, and he's also like the um, elite four leader in the first two gens. Oh. Yeah, so he's sort of like the the standing champion. Until you red and blue show up to like you know dethrone him, right, 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 right. Yeah. AKA Ben Jam. That's what I named myself. Oh, so you name yourself? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Next up is we have another Josh. Josh. Now this Josh, Josh G, as it were, uh, is coming in with three points on the season. Is a I IU alum and professional IT nerd. Nice. Yeah. All right, Josh. Okay, Let's see, see it. Put yeah, those right. IT skills. Let's see some real technology-based Pokemon in here. Four. <coughs> With the Club lamp, mm -hmm. the electric. So that feels techy, yeah, right? That you does, know, electricity. Yep. Lavin ten drag. Look, Matang scores. Matang does score. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the Spinarak, the Ralts, Krogunk, the Zubat, and the Reunicle scores. Right. That does. That's yep. A so that's a, at least two points and the, the Liligan. Liligan. So nothing too crazy, but still manages to squeak out three points for a total of six on the season. Moving right on up. The crazy thing is that six points gives you like a, a big way tie for like twenty second. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> yes. There's there's a decent little little chunk of folks with with six points on the season so far. And right. realistically, as ever, you know, we've seen it happen. It just takes one pack to shift everything. That's so. all it does. Next up, Ben, is John Borg. John Borg. John Borg. We're down to our final three contestants of the day. What does I like to think of them as? Bon Jorg. Bon Jorg. Bon Jorg. Bon Bonjourno. Bon Bon <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Can we get another? No type oh, advantage here. Just the raucous pummeling energy. The more Pekko, the capturing aroma. Uh, oh, scores. the Buneary scores. Go, yeah. Wow. Oh, look at that Dreeby. He looks so sad. So sad. Pikachu. Ooh. And Talonflame there. So we do get one common chase card point, but just a two point pack on the day for John Borg. When they were inventing Talonflame, were they like, hey, remember, remember Pidgeot? But fire. That, but fire, basically. Yeah. I mean, it is like that, like, patch, you know, root one bird. It, go, it starts as Fletching or Fletch Fletchling. That's a more earlier. creative name than Talonflame. <coughs> Fletchling. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I feel like Talonflame just feels like somebody was like, "Hey, those are two cool words. Let's mash them together." Smash them together. There you go. That's okay. You should uh, wait till you see Great Tusk. Oh. Yeah. That's the name of the Pokemon. Great Tusk. Great Tusk. And it has a great with a space. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now it's that's in Scarlet and Violet and. I, you could argue that because it's like a 
Pokemon named by ancient times. They went with like Great Tusk, like it was like a caveman naming it, in which case it's kind of clever. But then there's a future version of it and it's equally dumbly named. So yeah, I, I'm not sure what they're doing with the names on these like primordial Pokemon or whatever they are. Okay, at okay. This point. I don't think that's the right word. Uh, the next up is Kernak! Kernak! Kernak McLaggen? Kernak McLaggen! Renowned Hufflepuff Keeper. This is Cormac's cousin. C Cormac's cousin. Yeah, Kernak. Kernak. <laughs> the families were like, we both staked claim to this similar name, and when yeah. the, the one family member used it, the other family member was like, well, fine, we're just going to do something similar. Their naming convention they decided was to end their names with Ack. 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 Anyway, we got a Rock's Pummeling Energy, a Jinx, a... Wow. Another cleverly named card, Brandon. Brandon. Altaria, Spinda, the Phoebus, Phoebus will score, the Noibat, the, the Snorlax Snor scores, Sandile, the Smeargle and doesn't score, the Zygarde, the Zygarde scores. So, so it's a three point pack for Kernak, bringing them up to five on the season. There you go. And now, Ben, we are down to our final contestant of the day. Kablam! It is Wesleyvi. They have three points of the day. Now, now, I feel like maybe we should go like sort of like a quick randomizing of these final packs here. Whoa. You know, who's to say what could happen? You're just we're getting just real gonna, silly with it. We're just gonna shuffle it up, we're not, you know? Can just, you imagine as a child having enough booster packs that you could shuffle them? You could shuffle them? This would've made my entire life as a, as a child. Let's see, we're gonna go just right, right there with that one. That's the wow. one. Wow. That's the one. I bet that was the one you were gonna open anyway. Yeah, what if that was the front one? That would be really funny. Yeah. Check the footage. <laughs> Someone yeah. really, really slow it down and, yeah. and see what happened there. It turns out. All right, let's see how Wes Levy does. With our final pack of the day, could it be? Could this be the the all dart Lugia? We'll never know. Well, we're gonna find out actually in like ten seconds. Here we go. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely Bam! know. Very oh, soon. there's the fire energy. Okay, the so dragon there. there. The dragon there. The Venomoth. The, the Wallace. The Pharisee. Nothing coming so far. The Dupider will score. The Stunfisk will not. I do see something, Ben. Do oh, you? Oh, oh, the Chestnut. Chestnut V, which looks like bulk V, but I feel like I did pill a good pack. Okay, you did. You did it. You did yeah. a great job. Congratulations. Right. Uh, number fifteen on the set is the chestnut, and that is only worth fifty-one cents. So 51 it still just cents. will only score one point, so oh, two no. points on the pack. Although a great, a great close to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breaker. Chestnut, indeed, one of my more uh, favorite starter Pokemon. I like Chespin. I think he's awesome. Uh, that's all it's in that story. There you go. Uh, if you guys are curious at all, we obviously do still have some packs left here. We have been saving them from the entire season. So as we reach our way, there actually will be a kind of like unique position yeah. at some point because like we know the booster boxes have a certain amount of like allocation of right. those like alt arts, the golds, the rainbows, all the rest. And so at some point in time, everything's gonna get real silly. I and know. we're gonna have like the remaining packs from yes. each episode basically shuffled together for like, who knows what? Who knows what? I know. And so I, if you're ever thinking like, well, God, I wish they'd pulled from the back. What about all those remainder ones? They will get used. They will so get used. So if you used. feel like that we've opened a box that like maybe there wasn't a lot in there, don't worry. We'll get to those packs. We're still And we're still have no up. idea what's going to happen then. The ratios could be way off at that point. Yes, yes. So, uh, yeah. but what we're what we're most excited about is that the, uh, the show does continue <laughs> to grow, which has been so amazing. If you are interested in having us open a pack that we will then send to you to own here on the show, uh, you can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and select the box breakers tier. Again, also be sure to pay attention to which team you are signing up for because as we finally eventually fill out the entire allotment, we will be actually have a new uh, team-based competition yes. where everybody will then be competing as like your selected type. So, yeah. And the winning team will get a fun prize. A fun prize. It'll yeah. be very exciting. Like a new reason, a new way to compete. We're always trying to continue to evolve the show to make it that much more fun. Otherwise, guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time. Bye. Bye.